Hello and welcome to this new video. Here I will share how you can create a custom brush for your ZBrush. Right? So there are two, three types of brushes that you can create. So first is standard. So simply go on the brush and you can actually create a insert brush. You can create nano brush. You can create multi alpha brush. Uh, okay. And then before you start, simply go click on the brush panel and just drag it here so that you whatever changes you make you make sure that you save it so before i edit this brush i will just make it make it a clone so now i have made a clone brush so whatever settings i am going to use it i will just save it i will just click on the alpha and you can select any alpha from here so I have downloaded this alpha. Simply go to the uh, ZBrush website, Pixelogic website, and you will find very good alphas to download. Simply click on these, and then you will be able to download the alpha, and you will be good to go. Right? I have downloaded one alpha already in my directory. So I will go to here, alpha, and will import alpha. 19 right and now you can see my brush is reacting differently uh, the polygon as a very less the uh, density is very less so I'm going to increase the pixel density I will just subdivide it for multiple times and now if I add the details this looks very good all right I'll do one more thing instead of actually making this stroke like this I want to make it spray so I will start spraying the details but this is still looks too strong to me so I can adjust the Z intensity here okay and that's how actually you can make a very good pattern here but I'm more interested in instead of spraying i will just select this direct react so i can actually just drag the alpha wherever i want right i think i need to increase the intensity a bit so i will increase the intensity this time So looks like I have just divided a lot. Actually, I need to smooth it up. We'll go to the deformation and we'll apply smooth modifiers. Okay, and I think there are some. I'll just reduce the polygon count. We'll delete the higher one. Now I can simply go to the deformation and we'll again make it smooth. All right. So now I have made a brush stroke and I want to save the same setting. So I will go here. And if you want to change the settings some here, you can actually change it. You can define which brush you want to create. So you can create insert mesh, you can create multi alpha brush. So if you create insert brush what will happen it will just uh, what it, it says that you will need to append the active mesh into existing brush to create a new brush right and when you create a new brush and here it will so it has created an insert multi multi mesh brush and here you can actually insert keep inserting more brushes like this now this is a one more way so what actually it does here you uh, when I go and delete all the I, uh, when I go and delete all the subdivision level you can simply insert the same mesh right 
so this is the one type of brush where you can actually append a lot of sub tools yeah, a lot of uh, geometries and then you can create one common brush here i will actually i can create one more brush so i will go and select and go and select the custom brush will change the settings select the alpha that i have selected and i'm good to go so now i will go to the down you can change the curves you can change the depth setting but uh, if you do not understand you can just play and see the effects it is working on but for now this brush is ready to be saved right so i will click i will click here save as so when i will click save as i will select the custom brush and will replace it or because i have already made one brush here now one more thing to note that you also want to create a thumbnail for your brush right so to create a thumbnail simply just take a render and you can see there is a very hard edges so i want to very smooth render so i will go to the render and go to the bpr shadows will increase some rays and angle and then we'll do again a bpr render i think we can also change the material let me change the material to white and let me change the color to off white this will be better all right now i can just go and save this export this to custom brush thumbnail and it will be saved now only thing is needed that i need to crop this thumbnail in into square image so i will go to here you can see the thumbnail is saved and now i want to just save this crop it so i'll click on it and open with a whatever existing software i have uh, you can open it in photoshop and just crop it i have affinity photo so i am just cropping it here so we'll just close the file and then we'll open this file here and now i want to just make a crop so we'll click on click on click c c stands for cropping the image we'll crop it as much as possible and you can see that we got in just an idea that okay this should be good enough so let's make it 780 780 standard and this looks okay to me so i will press control uh, press enter so it will just crop the image now i can just simply save save the file and i will be good so here it is i'm just exporting and naming it custom brush thumbnail cropped all right now you will go to the brush panel we don't need this will i will just close it by double clicking uh we'll have to open it because we i need to select the thumbnail for this so right now my custom brush has the same thumbnail of a standard brush and to change it here you will find select icon and then you can select the thumbnail and you can see the thumbnail has been changed you can select any other thumbnail and that's you see so if you do not crop it uh, carefully it will be reacting differently so make sure that you are selecting you are cropping the image and then you are using it okay and now you have set all the parameters so you need to save it so basically you can just simply 
click on save as and again just you need to save the brush and your brush is ready to so now you can use your brush you can simply select any brush or you can go and click any file and then you can go and load your custom brush and you will have all the settings defined just increase the polygons and you will get the same results all right So, that, so that's it for this video and I hope this video have helped you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel to receive more such kind of videos. Till the time bye bye and good luck. I'll see you in the next video.